Hello, all. Yes, Akira, how are you? Uh, yes, according to your first question, yes. A transition in the nav bar. Okay. So just select this nav bar. And let, let me uh, unlink in. I, I don't. Uh, want to be it's as a symbol so i am just unlinking it after uh, after enabling transition we will make it again uh, as a symbol okay so first just select it from uh, here and go to the uh, interactions from here i will select the while page is scrolling Yes, okay. And nav bar background. After that, I will select this. Sorry. Yes. Okay, this is background color. Okay, what we want when uh, navbar is on the zero percent of the screen background should be transparent and when back when navbar is on the let's suppose 10 percent of the screen uh, the uh, the navbar should have some background color and which color is like uh, orange uh, you you can select as per your requirements and just save it Okay. Yes, you can see on the scroll of the page, it's changing color. It's uh, changed the color of the text. You can select this uh, with respect to your requirement, like oh, in the center of this uh, background. So these are the steps which we need to do. For uh, what's your next question? Yes. Your next question is in the slider, how can I make the arrows to be outside of the slider? Just a minute, let me check your slider. Okay. Uh, but I think was does not okay. Also, is there any way to change the color of the arrows? Yes, uh, we have a way to change the color of the arrows. Just select this left or right arrow. And uh, let me def uh, let me assign some class like like right arrow. You can change color by the for uh, typography of the right arrow. Okay, like you want to make its color orange. You can select orange color or blue color, okay? Similarly for the left arrow, you just need to assign a class. I don't know my system is why too much slow today. Yes, just you need to select a class. Oh, just you need to select a font color in the typography. Okay, and uh, another your question. Hmm. You want, uh, how can I make the arrows outside of the slider? Okay, uh, you can let me try this. I hope it will work. Okay. You just need to select this uh, right arrow and you can control it from this position absolute 
and select left like uh, you can select 95 percent and i think you need this position uh, of the arrow and make this small, uh, size of the arrow a little bit smaller it will be looking good like it's 24 will be perfect or uh, yes you uh, you can you can set it as per your requirements i have a suggestion uh, you can you can assign some uh, width and height to this uh, right arrow class like 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 uh, 24 by 24 and uh, assign some background color to it instead of that this right arrow okay it will be uh, much helpful for you i hope you can understand your all of questions uh, if still you have any question you can ask i will be available let me just check last time is there any yes 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 it's there is also a last question i made a hover animation so the change blue you can see what i don't know there is a place for it just a minute just go there you don't need any yes you you can select this right arrow class and give the hover uh, hover properties from from this class instead of the uh, other class which is i think i can yes slider slider arrow instead of this you need to control it from this class parent class it will be helpful for you and uh, the the things will be easier for you i hope your all questions will be clear now if you have any further question you can ask i will be available to help you thank you so much